Hey there, Bipti here. This time it's about minus 36.0 logic once again. I wanted to show you one more cool thing you can do with logic without getting too complicated. First of all, we'll need a microprocessor. And this time I would like to make a turret do something. Here's the turret. It's important that we link it up like this. You first click on the processor and then you click on the turret. And if you were successful, it will have this purple rectangle around it and it will have a name about it. That's quite important. Then we can start writing our program. Add, we want to, let's see, what do we have here? Basically, we want to control something, right? We want to control, want to set it to be shooting. And it's called Duo One. This is the name you see above the thing. And here it says we want to, where we want it to shoot. We want it to shoot to x coordinate zero, y coordinate zero, and we want it to be actually shooting. So we would put in a zero if we wanted it to stop. Now that's it. That's the whole program. We want to change shoot for Duo One, and we want to make it actually shoot and target x zero and y zero. It doesn't do anything. Uh, this is something which happened a lot to me. It doesn't do anything because there is no ammunition. Now that it has ammunition, it's shooting ahead. And x0, y0 is way over here in the bottom corner. But the turret doesn't, doesn't uh, get this far. It's a bit inaccurate, as you see. But uh, that's about it. This simple program and not forgetting to link the turret, not forgetting to provide the turret with ammo will make it possible for you to shoot it in any way you want. Of course, it's more interesting with variables and it's more interesting if it's shooting something which is not the 0, 0 coordinate, but more on this in a future tutorial. I hope you learned something and see you in the next one. Bye!